morning wonderful people great dear friends wherever you are on the face of this very planet we once again welcome you to a slightly unusual but an extra ordinarily important broadcast this very morning or afternoon or evening depending on where you are on the face of this very planet we are live and we are direct and the time now is six minutes past 9 a.m in the land of biafra as i welcome you i will encourage you to welcome those who are around you this morning we shall endeavor to make it as interactive as possible because I will be following your comments and your contributions via my Facebook page where we are live at the moment. We are also live across all our FM stations in Biafra land. We are on Radio Biafra app. You can get us via tuning we are also on garden radio we are on simple radio if you wish to listen just google it download any app and you should be able to follow us as you all know i do not do morning programs but we've had to do one this very day i will encourage you whatever you are doing to spare some few hours this morning to listen to this very critical broadcast. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you. It is not a very happy day, I must tell you, today. But we must observe all our protocol, and I must introduce myself in case the world is wondering who is behind the microphone this very morning or afternoon, evening or night, depending on where you are. My name is Inamde Kano. I am the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra all over the world. I am the director of Radio Biafra. I am the director of Biafra Television. And by the very special grace of Chukoti Kajama Prominyanine, the God Almighty in heaven, as I am today, so shall I remain forever a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra. That I welcome this very morning from here to participate and to partake in this very wonderful gospel and exposition. Because we are under oath to speak the truth always regardless of the consequences the truth must be spoken that is why we are assembled that is why we are gathered wherever we are having abandoned all that we are doing if you go into abuja now abuja is like a ghost town people are listening to this very gospel 
It is a gospel of redemption, a gospel of hope, the gospel that will lead us from darkness into the light, a gospel that will usher in freedom because we are on that direct supervision of heaven itself. Every utterance, every proclamation, every assertion, every prediction, every policy, every prophecy that we make here must come to pass. Must come to pass. Once I open my mouth and I utter it, it is only a matter of time and you will see it happen. We don't lie. I do not lie. I have no need, no reason to. Everything I tell you is gospel. As Elohim directed me to preach. We must pray because we need prayer today more than ever. We need prayer. There are some things we can do ourselves because we are mortals, yes. But we need prayer today more than ever. And the prayer I'm going to pray this morning is to ask God Almighty in heaven for something that we don't usually ask for. I'm going to ask God this very day to give black people common sense, the ability to reason and to discern, because that is our problem. Our problem is not uh, corrupt politicians. Our problems are not those who are around us. Terrible economy, everything is upside down. A warped political system and an unworkable system of government. No. Do you know that those are not our problems? Not even hunger, not even poverty, not disease. The greatest problem we have of black people, wherever they are in the world, is the inability to reason. And those that can reason, the fear of acting on that very reason that they have formed or formulated in their brain or in their mind. I'm going to ask God this morning to give black people common sense and to give us the will also to act on that very common sense. These are the two things I'm going to ask for. And I wish you can join me. Please, if you lower your head, wherever you are, if you're one of us, I will call upon Elohim. Lord God Almighty in heaven, the giver of life, the God of all the gods, the King of all the kings, you inhabit the heavenly realm that even the imagination of man cannot begin to comprehend nor fathom his majesty, his magnificence, and his glory. You are better than glory, O Heavenly Father. Only your words shall come to pass. That which you have decreed is what man must live through. Because your words are here and amen. We are gathered all over the world this very morning in a rather unusual circumstance to give you praise, honor, adoration, and glory. Because there is none like this. And back to my Facebook page, I'm going back to it. We are back again on my Facebook page. They are dreaming. They are dreaming. They don't. <laughs> They don't want this very gospel to be preached. They don't want it to be preached. But we are going to. They cannot stop us. There is no way. They can't stop us. We are back on again. They can never, ever stop us. They can't. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not ever. Not ever. Not ever. Not ever. We are going to preach this very day. And I can assure you, nothing, absolutely nothing is going to stop us. Nothing. 
First group we prepared. We are going to do battle today. I only want to preach for one hour this morning. But if you keep us, I'm prepared to be here till evening. I am prepared. So it is better you allow us to preach than wasting your time because what you're doing is a waste of time. You are not going to be able to stop us. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. We are here to preach the gospel of heaven. The gospel of redemption. And there is nothing anybody can do about it. Absolutely nothing. We are back. We are back on my page. Let me tell them how to find it. There are many fake ones, of course, from DSS and their agents. I have 425,000 followers, 281,000 likes. That is how you know you are at the right place. They cannot stop us. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. We are going to proceed this morning by going to my Facebook page, if you can, for those who are listening via our app and other platforms that are not visually aided, where you cannot see what is on my page. I will try as much as possible to describe it for you. And for those of you who have now joined us and are listening, I will, of course, encourage you I will encourage you to keep on sharing this very link. Keep on sharing it because we are about to rescue the zoo this morning. We are about to save all Nigerians this very morning. We want to, their friends are already saved. We know what we're waiting for. We want to save people, want to save Nigerians today. So there will be less bloodshed. So that we will see people to do business with once their friends is established. Because it will be of no use to us to be building a very fantastic civilization and nation in that part of the world, and we don't have people who can admire it. Because I want, when they are outside the boundaries of Biafra land, they can see skyscrapers, they can see well manicured lawns and gardens, they can see well paved streets. They can admire beautiful architecture in the land of Biafra. So we need human beings to be alive. That is why this morning as we preach, as we preach this very gospel from heaven, it is designed to set those free who have been shackled by the iniquitous existence of the damnable zoological republic. Now you will listen this morning. Go to my page because we are going to start from there. That is where we are going to start from. I want to prove to the world because everywhere on this earth, men, women, children, everybody is listening. Even those in their offices, they are listening. I posted something before we commenced on my page. And I know that some of you may have watched the very laughable and disgraceful performance of Aisha Buhari's boyfriend, her lover. They forgot the face mask because they couldn't fix the hole in the neck. They opted for a very heavy makeup of that young man to make him look as old as possible. But this very morning, with the time now standing at precisely 26 minutes past 9 a.m. in the morning, that is how you know we are live. I challenge anybody. I challenge anybody because most Nigerians are a slightly that. There is no need me playing the audio. I want you to go to my page and have a look at the face of the young boy. They are calling 79-year-old Buhari. Go and look at the face of the boy. And I want you to also go, to, I want this program to be as interactive as possible. As interactive. So as I'm, as I'm proceeding, 
Previously, I'll ask you to bring your pen and paper ready, of course. You should have that by the side, but also have an internet-enabled device because I'll be directing you to go to Google now and again. Very, very critical, please. I want you, be, those who are listening, those who listened or saw what the recorded broadcast this morning to begin to ask yourself a very simple question. Number one, number one is this. Let us forget everything, all the semantics. Let us forget all the deep fake videos. Let us face simple common sense. I want to be able to demonstrate to myself and to the whole world that there are some black people who can actually reason. That is what I want to prove. That there are some black people who can reason. And I want us to be able to reason together this morning. My number one question is this. Is that very address some of you saw, that broadcast this morning, was it live? That's number, have that in mind. Was it a live broadcast? Now, if as we all know, it wasn't live, then the next question is, logically so, the next logical question is, why wasn't it a live broadcast? And within the answers you give to yourself, you understand the mess that Nigeria is in and why it must collapse this year. Not next year, it must fall this year. Now, if you have a president who is alive, why would you go through the pain of having to record a live address? Now, let's say some people are saying that they want to get everything right. So that means if this man cannot address his fellow countrymen and women live, how can he go to a meeting abroad and represent you? Because meetings are live. The only nonsense they are claiming is live. You know, we are doing teleconference with the uh, UN, with the um, World Bank, with the um, IMF, with other heads of state in Africa. That means that they are lying to you. Because how can you not address your so-called Nigerians live that you do live video conference with agencies all around the world. It is simple common sense. Can anybody begin to understand what I'm saying? If you cannot address Nigerians live, how therefore, how then are you addressing the world live? So that means that you do not, you people are liars. You don't address the world live. Because charity begins at home. If you cannot address those who are around you live, how can you address? The whole world life is not possible. So that's number one lie that you're telling. And if you cannot represent the country you claim you're living live before any meeting, any gathering, any conference, that means the people are not getting what they are due from those who are supposed to be helping them. In other words, Nigeria has no president. I want us to forget, let us look at it logically sequentially, step by step. I'm not talking about all the fakeness. I'm not talking about, I thought that debris was gone. This is confirmation. Look at this little boy and go and look at the old clips of debris. I told you debris is gone. He's not coming back and he's gone for good. Now, I don't want to dwell on the fakeness of the video. I don't want to dwell on the fact that it was even recorded. I want you to ask yourself this simple question. Which country in the world will allow a president that doesn't address them life? What is the essence of democracy then? I, I, don't, I, I want people to explain this to me. What is the essence of democracy when you have somebody who claims he or she is the president, but they cannot address you live, tell you what is happening in real time? It is the same rubbish all over again, every uh, three weeks or every month, they come out of this nonsense for a few seconds and that's it. Are you telling me that if they, are not, if they weren't hiding anything, or if they're not hiding anything, would they go to, the, to this length of concealing, of hiding, of shielding from the public the true state of affairs? 
And I'll ask you again, look at that little boy and tell me if that looks like a 79-year-old, no matter how rich you are. Because some people, being very black, being very African, being very naive and very foolish by nature, because most of us are foolish by nature, that's the way we are created. I don't know what is wrong with Africans, but that's the way we are. I cannot, I cannot, I, people go to school but I learn nothing. I want you to, because if you doubt me, look at Bill Gates. Are you telling me that there is a treatment in this world available to anybody calling himself Buhari that Bill Gates cannot afford? Are you telling me now that Bill Gates is now older than Buhari? Is that what you're trying to claim to me? Why I'm saying this is because Bill Gates is one of the richest men in the world. At one point, the richest man in the world. He has so much money, all he needs to do now is to kill as many people as possible with that money. That his job now is to kill people. That's how rich he is. He's not playing God. Now, look at that man that has all the money in the world. Look at his face. And you look at the face of somebody who should be older than Bill Gates. Is I'm there, I just want you to engage your brain a little bit. If they are disturbing you on my page, you go to you can switch on one again with um you can go to YouTube. If you have multiple devices, you can go to YouTube, listen via YouTube, but be watching what I'm going to post. Because Samaka is very busy. She's working. She's a teacher. She's working today. I'll be doing most of this work myself. So you need to bear with me. Now Look at the face of somebody who is older than Bill Gates. Now, people say that the, the, the old, dead, wrinkly Buhari is now this little boy. You ask them, but where did he get this look? They said it was after his medical treatment in London. Okay, we agree. He went to London to look younger, almost 40 years younger than his age. Okay, we agree. Now, I want all of you, or those of you who can, to go to Google, type in UK, type in 70-year-old United Kingdom. I challenge anybody anywhere in the world. Have you seen the Queen of England? Her Britannic Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. Have you seen her? So you're telling me that a team port dictator from Africa can come to London receive a life-changing treatment that not 40 years of his looks and Queen Elizabeth doesn't have access to such a treatment. The person that actually owns the hospital that you went to, because everything you do in the UK is in the name of the Queen, of course. I'm asking a simple question. Now, Look at how old and wrinkly Prince Philip is. Prince Philip is the loving husband of Queen Elizabeth. So if that treatment that uh, Buhari that had brain tumor and everything received were uh, to be in London, how come Prince Philip cannot go to the same hotel, sorry, to the same hospital to receive treatment? Why not? I'm asking a simple question. Do you see why Black people find it difficult to grow, to develop, to feed themselves, to clothe themselves, to house themselves, to build roads, to build bridges. I want you to understand that our idiocy starts from the, the way we see, the way we analyze, the way we look at problems, the way we approach issues is the reason why black people are the lowest of the low in the whole world. We don't read it. And I'm proving it to you that people do not read him. You are looking at a little boy. But in his 40s, I shall love him. Pretending he is your president. Even if you're not outraged because you want them to be in power, shouldn't you be outraged that they're desecrating democracy and making a fool of you? I want to ask you now, does this boy look 70? If the answer is yes, look at Bill Gates. 
is to get up to 79 years old, the answer is no. That is the age of the dead Buhari. Look at this boy now on my Facebook page. Go and look at this little boy. And then look at Bill Gates. This boy goes to Bill Gates to get him, to give him money to buy ventilators. I want people to understand this. Nigeria as a whole, as a country, so they claim, goes to a man to beg him for money. They go to Bill Gates to beg for money. Now, the person you're begging for money happens to look older than somebody who should be older than him. Now, Bill Gates is now older than your, your Buhari that gave an address this morning. What does that tell you about the way you reason? What does that tell you about who you are as a person? What does that tell you about the poverty in Africa? Because I want to prove it to everybody listening this very morning that the reason why Africa is backwards and very poor is because of the way we reason. And before you start complaining and grumbling, I want you to go to my page on Facebook, have a look at it, or go anywhere else you like. Look at what happened this morning in the zoo called Nigeria. Look at that little boy. Your president cannot address you live. Look at the quality. I was watching it on, on Vanguard Facebook page. I was so disgusted. I felt like shedding tears. So disgusted. The quality, the quality of the video. The quality of the video in this digital age. It was recorded. The news was being read by a very little boy. Robert Mwako is a small boy. He can see it very clearly. Now, when you lie to yourself, the thing about black people is that we love lying to ourselves. We never tell ourselves the truth. When you lie to yourself that this man is, how can God bless you or bless Nigeria? How is that possible? I'm asking. Do you see how all of you are parambulating all over the place? You are all hypocrites. Do you see why they killed George Floyd in America? You people are hypocrites. You see the truth and you cover it up out of fear. And I keep asking them, those who are in Abuja who are afraid, that inbox me, you write to me, you WhatsApp me, you tell me, we know what you're saying is true. I am serving in the army. I am a high-ranking officer in the Ministry of Health. I do. What? How many full armies are there that all of you are frightened? How many are there? What would it take to collapse the zoo and everybody will be free? Nothing. As we are doing it, in the East, I expect Yoruba to rise up with Oduduwa. I expect Middle Belt to convert. That is all it takes. All is a simple process. Simple process. And all this nonsense will come to an end. That the same thing that the Africans are saying is what Oduduwa are saying is what Middle Belt is saying. End of story. Chicken up is over. As simple as that. Do you know why? Because when I travel and I meet important Dignitaries abroad. If the same thing they are hearing from me is what they are hearing from the Yoruba people, is what they are hearing from the Middle Belt, it is by by zoo. You don't need to fight. You don't need to shoot. All the little is consistency of message. If the oil in my land is the reason why you want Nigeria to be one, I I don't like swearing. But I make a pledge now before God and before man that as I have said before, so will I continue to say that the oil and the gas in Biafra land will be given to every component part of Nigeria for free in perpetuity under the supervision of the United Nations. This forms part of our charter to our people, which will be published very soon. I need you. I am a man that anything I utter, anything I say I'm going to do, I do it. We will, I'm telling you about people, if oil and gas is your problem, we'll give it to you for free. The UN will supervise it. We will lay pipelines to come into your, ter into your domain, your territory. The same thing with the Middle Belt. We will pipe oil to you and gas. Anything you like can do with it. The pipe is already anyway. Will that oil and gas will continue to flow. So you have no need. You have no need whatsoever. We will internationalize and build a port in Lopuja to service the Middle Belt under international supervision.
as I said, we would internationalize that very waterway, the river itself. So that's the one day Gaffer won't wake up and say, oh, the thinking is over. Do you understand? So that this foolishness and idiocy will stop. That's all we're asking for. So that this nonsense will stop. Can you believe that this little boy, this little boy is living large, not content with having Aisha for free, they are paying him $200 million every year, this little boy, having fun, and not even doing the job properly. And none of you are quiet. Telling me you are afraid. Oh, we know Buhari is dead, but we are afraid. These this, this are the messages I'm getting. These are the messages I'm getting, confidential messages from inside Abuja, from inside Asorok. They are saying what you're saying is true, but we are afraid. In this UG, black people, we are sick in the brain. You have seen it. You have a president. Just like saying you have, you know, once you lose your mom or your dad and your sibling starts to call you or relatives, you start telling them, oh, uh, they traveled. They are not at home. And they keep asking, but I want to see her. I, want, I remember when I lost my mom. Oh, but I want to see her. One of my aunts called me and said, can't I speak to that? I want to talk to her. I said, no, but uh, she's in the bathroom. She is not feeling well. She will come out later. She, she, I, it was them that came and, and told me that we think there is something wrong. You're not telling us. It's called common sense. Common sense. You have a president year in, year out, month in, month out, week in, week out, no live broadcast. He does nothing. He always sits somewhere and his presidency, presidency, presidency. And you know that this system of government is unprecedented anywhere in the world. And all of you are there sheepishly and hopelessly and idiotically condemning all this rubbish because you are black and you are evil. Let me tell you, the preaching I will do on Sunday, and if people selling rope in Nigeria, those selling rope in Nigeria, I will ask them not to sell rope from now till Sunday because after the broadcast I will make on Sunday, the suicide rate in Nigeria will quadruple. People will leave this world on Sunday. I'm telling you, people will commit suicide because this level of idiocy is too much. It is too much. How can people be so ignorant? And they are basking in ignorance. You are ignorant and you are basking in ignorance. Unbelievable. Go and look at the video again. President, no live address, always recorded speech. What does that tell you? Are you foolish? You have degree. What does that tell you? This boy you're looking at now, because when Femi Adeshino does his Photoshop, they use the old Buhari mask. But there is a hole in the neck. They cannot cover the hole. That is why they brought up this little boy. A little boy. Look at him. Anyway, Aisha is having fun. <laughs> when I write the sugar, no, 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 no. She's having fun. At her age, she has a little boy like this. Living with this little boy. Sleeping on her husband's bed. Pretending. Every day. All of you, you see it. As if you're blind. As I demonstrate. If Nigeria, if at all the zoo they claim is a country, they have sensible people there. Have you seen one of the, somebody made a comment, his name is Romano Suchena Ogweri, on the post I made last night. He was the one that observed that on the screen, do you know what they spelled? They said president, P-R-E-S-E-D-A-N-T, president. When people discovered, they changed it to president, P-R-E-S-D-E-N-T. Let me see if I can try and post it. That you may see the nonsense happening in the zoo called uh, Nigeria. In broad daylight, a country of 200 million people, nobody knows how to spell the word president. 
That is alamajiri for you. That is the ginger weed for you. These are the people they have no certificate. We went to court and said he has he is not learned enough to be. They said no. He is a, he went to 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 mom's defense academy. In broad daylight, they intimidated all learned men and women, made them full of hypocrites. Overnight, everybody is, in, is living in fear. Everybody has been terrorized by few number. Of, that is what is driving me mad. That is what is driving me insane. Very few of them. Very few. Full of, mother, how many are the full of people? What type of air care for them are they carrying that all of us cannot buy? Are you telling me today, all of you who are crying, are you telling me today that if we have a group right up from, from the land doing the things that IPOB is doing, Oh, come on now. Come on. Let us be sensible, please, for once. Are you telling me if there is a strong Oduduwa group Yorubaland, in Yorubaland uh, campaigning for Oduduwa, as IPOB is doing, and uh, one from Little Bird, not as strong, but you just still pretending. All I'm asking for is when they, because they will, at the end of this year, the world will call. They will call Yoruba elders. They will call Middle Belt elders. They will call elders from the east. If when that call comes between October and December, that call comes, if, they, if we can all say the same thing, it's over for the zoo. It's over. Listen carefully, please. If you listen to me, believe you me, your life can never ever be the same again. It can never be the same. Never. It can be the same. Because here we preach the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Here's your opportunity. I can't lie to you. What lie to you for? Why would I lie to you? I'm asking you what for? Why would I need to lie to you? Nobody knows how to spell a president. I want to see if I can get it for you. So you will understand what I'm saying. Nobody knows how to spell a president in the whole of the place you call uh, Nigeria. Nobody knows. And then these are the people that you're telling me somehow they have your interest at heart. Is that what you're telling me? Are we that dumb? Are we that stupid? Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're telling me, Ask That nobody knows how to... Spell the word president. I am going to post it. I'll post it now that the world may see it. Uh, 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 because um, <laughs> some of these things is just, is just is a very big, very big joke. Very big joke, I tell you. Very, very big. It's, it's, it is unprecedented. This level of stupidity in black people is that I must say it. You may not like it. You may go, you may complain, oh, he, he, he's insulting people. That is entirely your business. It is entirely your business. I must say it because it is the truth. We do not reason. Black people do not reason properly. We don't reason properly. That is the fact of life. That is the absolute truth. I'm going to post it. I will try. I don't have Amaka to help me. Amaka is um, teaching children online. Uh, but I will do it myself. Because I'm, after all, I'm very good at multitasking. I'm going to maybe, I will not have the, the fluidity of the commentary of Amaka, but I am going to post it so that the world may see it. If you go, you will see it. You will see it. Romanus, you cannot really observe that a, a country of 200 million people, they cannot spell the word president correctly. What did they write here? They wrote President, P R E S D E N T, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Federal Republic of Nigeria, the office, uh, capital O. Can you believe that? It is there on the screen. This is what the world is watching. And after watching it, you want them to treat black people uh, like, uh, like human beings. You, you're dreaming. You are dreaming. I say you are dreaming. I have posted it on my page. You can go and see it. It is there. 
it, they spelled it initially president. They changed it to president, not president. That tells you the mess you are in. But is that all? No, it's not all. I want to now proceed to bring you, I, I just want to prove to you that all they do is lie to you. And as we proceed today, I am going to prove to you how they have been deceiving and lying to you. And I want to prove to you that Osibajo is not a lie. Osibajo is not a lie. I want to prove it to you today so you will know what they've been doing to you. Because if Osibajo is alive, they must produce him. They must produce I want to prove it to you that Osibajo is not alive. When I told you that Buhari was there, they were looking mad. I said, this boy is Jubril. I told you, when Jubril left, I told you, he ran away from Cuba. I told you. And I'm sure he died of a coronavirus. He confronted from Abakia later on. I told you, if you doubt me, look at those videos they made in Cuba and look at this little boy today. You can tell the difference. If you don't know. Only if you're blind. As blind as a bat. Zoo, they make me sick. Zoo, they make me sick. You people are a disgrace to the black race. Nigerians are a disgrace to the black race. Look at it. It is here. President, Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is here in black and white. Shameless, shameless people. Now, let me uh, take you back a little bit. I am going to come to the... Um, to the video of Osibaje they released and all the pictures. I'm here today to deal with this deep fake of um, Premier Deshino and all the nonsense they're doing. And I can prove to you that the Chinese are not involved because their technology, their technology is far more superior to the nonsense that those in Africa are using. Now, there is a picture I am going to try to put up as well. Hey, this thing that I. Uh, Amaka is not here to help me. Uh, it's very, very difficult. But I will do the best I can under the circumstance. Under the circumstance. I will do the best I can. I want to prove something this very day beyond every reasonable doubt. I want to let the world understand what is happening. I'm posting all these things on my page. On my page. I'm posting it on my page. So you can go there and see it. And the Chinese actors should also help us. So all of you should be sharing these pictures all over the world as I'm posting them on my page. Do you know that they read the picture a few days ago? They said that Burakai went to go and see, uh, went to see uh, Buhari. Is that correct? They read the picture. And in that picture, you can see the, the little boy, Aisha's boyfriend, receiving Burakai. And I'm asking you a very simple question. They say Buhari is a general. He fought in the war. He went to war college. He did all this. That, that, remember, that was the basis for dismissing the suit against Aynek and, uh, and Buhari then because he didn't have any certificate. People were claiming that he didn't go to school. They said he went to military college. Now, I want to debunk all that nonsense. I am going to ask you to please use your brain. Engage your brain cells. That's what I'm asking for. Nothing more. If you can help me, please, go ahead and help me if you can, or if you like. But as you're helping me, please, please, I'm begging you, just to spare a few seconds to reason like a human being. That's what I'm asking for this morning, please. Look at the first picture. Look at the picture I just posted on my wall. And it is the picture, some of you may have seen it, the picture of Buratai entering into the office and saluting a man that is supposed to be a major general in the army that went to war. And if you don't know, you can take a man out of the military or the army, but you cannot take the army out of the man. Now, answer me this question. Why would a general receiving a salute from his commanding officer in the field. Instead of saluting him back, he offered his hand for a handshake. It is there, can't you see it? Uh, you, are people blind? Um, as, as you're looking at the picture, I'm asking you to engage your common sense. That's what I'm asking for. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm asking you again, look at a, a former a major general. 
That even if you want to check him, he want to salute you. Because being in the military means you're regimented. Over the years, you've been drilled and drilled and drilled to salute. So when somebody salutes you, the first thing that comes to your mind is to salute back. Now, let's get back to one side. Assuming that this is, that they claim that this is Buhari. Now, if your command, field commanding officer is saluting you and you're bringing out your hand to shake him, that means your brain is no longer correct. That means the, the man is senile. Uh, he is gone. The picture is there. Now, if you look at the same, I posted two pictures in one. If you look at the second picture at the bottom, it is very, very clear. There is a mirror on the wall. Surprise, surprise, they have not added mirror on the wall where the man they claim is Buhari is sitting. I want to point out all the lies that this picture here is the Photoshop. The first one is the Photoshop. Because if you cannot be saluting a president and the president, go and check Trump, check every president in the world. Once you see a salute, you go salute back. Go and check every picture. There is no president in the world. Instead, you keep your hands by your side. That your, your men are saluting you. You must salute back. This one brought out his hand. Is it handshake? Or to ask him, nah, nah, how far? The picture is there. The lie, the video, that is to show you that Buratai too is not alive. This is fake. I want to prove it to you. Fake. Because this is a Photoshop. It's not real. If you go to the second picture again, look at the mirror on the wall behind uh, 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 the head of Buhari, you will know it is Photoshop. It is not an object. And now look at the reflection inside the mirror. <laughs> I don't know we are very smart. They don't know how intelligent we are. They are so foolish. They don't know. You are dealing with IPOB. We are born naturally intelligent. We don't have to go to school. Naturally intelligent we are. You can't deceive us. Look at the mirror behind the head of uh, the man they claim. Is, um, is Buhari, but of course it's Aisha's boyfriend. Focus on the mirror behind the head of Aisha's lover, who happens to be the mask we are. This is the boy, they make him up. He comes out, bouncing. No more brain tumor. No more kidney failure. No more. He's now bouncing. And no medical checkup, of course. Mind you, after all, clinic is empty. It's empty. People with minor heart defects, they go to doctor all the time. People with kidney problems, they go to doctor. Imagine a major surgery to remove tumor from the brain. It is called common sense, which in Africa is no longer common. Look at the mirror on the wall behind the, the little boy. You will see that. And scrutinize the purported reflection in the mirror. As I wrote it down, I'm reading what I wrote. You will see the people projected in the mirror are not in the room. People that you are seeing in the mirror are not in the room. And someone say, oh, but the idea, can't you see that one? Then I ask you to look at the hat, the, the Alamajiri hat the man is wearing. Count the colors. The gradient of the colors. Count it from up, down, on the cap. He's wearing an Alamajiri cap. Check it. Look at the color. You see it's not the same. Fake again. Fake broadcast this morning. Chief of staff fighting a major war, they claim, against insurgency that is ravaging everywhere. It's fake picture. Buhari is dead. Buratai is dead. Osibado is dead. Dead, dead. If not, they'll not be lying this way. Don't be can't be lying this way. And I want to prove it to you this morning. Listen. Do you know that after going to see the claim, after going to see uh, 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 their so-called president, I went to see the president today, Buratai gave interview to Channel TV. I want to point out today that Channel TV, Channel TV is the, oh my God, my God. Channel TV is the worst, is the worst, the very one of the worst things to ever happen to Nigeria. Channel television, the, the chief, God is my witness, it is the, the very worst. 
And I want to tell you why. He said he went to Channel TV to go and do an um, uh, uh, interview. And in that interview, they, they issued a, a video. That was a video issued in the interview they went to. And I want to, to, to find it and, um, and play it for you. So the world can see and hear what <laughs> is happening in the zoo. The wickedness of man against man. I want to prove it to the whole world that there is a special kind of, um, of, um, of wickedness that we have inside us. Inside us, special wickedness from black people. Special wickedness. We are evil. I'm telling you. Let children hear and ask your mommy, daddy, why is uncle saying we are bad? Tell your children the truth. That you are evil. You are evil. Now, I have posted it. I have posted it on my page. This is the screen grab of the fake YouTube video of Bulatai. Even some comedians may, uh, uh, made a mockery of that very video. Some comedians did. They made a mockery of the video that uh, uh, Bulatai claimed, the interview that uh, channels published. Do you know that Channel TV is in cahoots, is conniving? Channel television is conniving, conniving, actively conniving with the ganja weeds to enslave everybody, to kill off everybody. Are you aware of that? Some of you may pretend you don't know, but I'm going to publish that very video. Do you know that the video that the channel television was playing was a video they issued two years ago? Two years ago, channel television unconscionably brought it out, edited it, and said the, the uh, Buratai came to us after going to see the president, came to us. There is a fake video. That is why I maintain that Buratai is dead. I told you, they are gone. They are rubbish, all of them. Mad people. Fake video. Fake doctored video by Channel Television. Channel TV claiming that they are, of course, the first of the CNN of, uh, of, uh, of Nigeria. Why would you be fake news everywhere? Fake video by Channel Television claiming that they are, they are, uh, they are interviewing Buddha. I have posted it again. I have posted it. Fake. Fake. That comedians are making mockery of them. And you are in one Nigeria, a country full of liars and deceivers everywhere. No wonder you love lying. No wonder none become is a scammer. But your thieving Pentecostal pastor with a private jet collecting your money every week, every month, every type, every donation. He is not a thief, he's a man of God. But the people that came to save you. From your, 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 oh, how, how, how do, how, what are they doing to qualify this one? From your ignorance and, and your diseased condition, they are scammers. That is the brain of the black person. That is why white people kill you because you are foolish. That is why Chinese, they kill you because you are foolish. That is why they come to Africa to take our natural resources because we are foolish upon foolish. Useless people. The people saving you, they are scammers. People taking your money and buying private jets. Diverting funds meant for public use. They are men of God and your leaders. That is why you are black. And that is why you are evil. And that is why even nature is against you. Your heart is as black as Satan. It is you, you black people. Look at Channel Television. A news organization. A news channel that should be propagating the truth. Do you know that in Nigeria you are not safe, not even with the judges? And somebody said, I when I went to university, somebody said to me, any country you go to, the teachers are not reliable. The judges in the law court are not reliable, and you don't have any media. 
that place doesn't exist. Check Africa, that's what is happening in Africa. Teachers, they have to, 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 to rape you, to give you marks, to give you grades in school. Judges will tell you point blank. They will collect money. They will tell you that they will, they will rule for the person that you gave them money. And that's it. In Nigeria, a university professor, a dorm, will go and read election. 45 results. He is an he's an oh god my goodness. The call of academics will wear his gown, his professor, professorial gown, prophesying falsehood, and go and read the election for a stark illiterate. That is Africa for you. Everything in Africa is upside down. That is why Africa is poor. It is not because of the white man, not because of the Chinese. It is in the Bible. Remember the parable of um, the, 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 where Jesus gave money to people and asked them to one spent his, one invested his, one buried his in the ground. And he came out and took from the one that uh, buried his and gave to the one that uh, invested his. He said from those that do not have, it will be taken and given to those that have because we are foolish. That is why the Chinese will come and take our uh, mineral resources. We are that. He's insulting. I will insult, I'm insulting. i not insulting, I'm telling you the truth. He's insulting people. You are a fool, a complete idiot. An entity. A fool you are. Because until you face the reality of your stupidity, you're not going anywhere. And that's what I'm trying to prove to you today. How foolish you are. That a journalist, journalist in Nigeria, journalist claiming they are good, Channel TV, went and took a video, two-year-old video, Knowing that the country is undergoing unprecedented insecurity and insurgency, death everywhere. All that is required of them is to be objective, to say things are not working. We can't keep lying that they took money. And I'll mention their names today in Channel TV. They took money. They lied to, so that foreigners can cover their tracks and the killings and the deaths will continue. That is Africa for you. And you're angry because a, a white man killed a black man in America. Do you see how hypocritical of you are? How many of you are holding channels accountable for this lie? The video that they said is the Buddha type was filmed too, was shot, recorded two years ago. Two years ago, they put it out and they digitally re enhanced it. I remember doing the Operation Desert Storm, Norman Schwarzkopf. Anytime you have any proper country or nation at war, their defense headquarters will give live, the same way you give COVID-19 briefly. Once a war is live and active, once, once they're involved in an active theater anywhere in the world, the defense headquarters will be issuing live press statements every blessed day. That's how it's done anywhere in the world. They're talking to you. It's recorded, um, uh, fake, not even recorded, fake doctor's video. I have posted it for you so that you can see. Now, let me tell you the funniest part. Do you know why I hate channels and, and, and in this country, black people, black, black, satanic, black people, sat I said, satanic, satanic, no wonder they tell the devil black. On so I said on Sunday, what I will preach on Sunday. I, it's better you don't listen on Sunday. And what it comes to a health warning, the preaching I will make on Sunday. I feel sorry for black people on Sunday. I'm telling you the truth. You brought this thing upon yourselves. You people are evil. Evil and evil. This G, black people. Black, black, black. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let me now shock you. <laughs> to let you understand how evil channel television is. Who are those working for channels? Black people, Mr. G. Do you now know what they did in, with the, in channel TV? Do you know what they did in channel television? <laughs> you, don't, you have no idea. Uh -huh. I'm going to tell you in a minute. I'm going to tell you in a minute. <laughs> Oh dear me, black, 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 black people, 
black people. Uh, whoever, I don't know who did this to you. I have no idea who did this to you. I said, I have no idea. I have no idea. Somebody did this to you. Do you know something? If you, when channels posted this rubbish yesterday, you know, dear friends, we are intelligent. We saw it and we get channels the date. IPOB, we decided we get them. Do you know what happened? Before I went to sleep last night, channels had removed the, they've gone and removed the, um, the video. It's no longer there. And I posted it again. When we went to search for that video, I have posted it again on my wall now. I will get, I've just posted the result of the search for that video. They said the new state. That's why they took it down. Have you seen it? That is your news today. So in Nigeria, government is fake. Uh, uh, National Assembly is fake because they said anything they bring the past. Every loan they collect. Judiciary. <laughs> that one is a big joke. Big joke. How about that? Okay. The more people they demand in custody, the more money they are sharing with the Ministry of um, Interior. <laughs> in that affairs. So you don't know. A judge, a legal luminary, that's what they call them. A legal icon. Only the zoo. Every case, even the one that is supposed to be dismissed, they say, remind me cost of it. And try it back. So that the Ministry of Internal Affairs will give money to the whoever is in charge of prisons for the feeding of these prisoners, that we do not feed them anyway. So the judge can get uh, his or her own share of the money. <laughs> black people. Black in Africa. So you people are horrible. Horrible human beings you are. Horrible satanic. You people are said you are evil. Satanic. That's why God is punishing Africa. You don't know that? A judge. Look at what Channel TV is doing. It is here. The video no longer exists. It is gone. Why did they remove it? Because it is fake. The national security of 200 million people being toyed about with for political considerations and financial gain. How much channels would they give you? John Wamo, whatever the drop's name is. How much will they give you, I ask? Tomorrow you'll be writing rubbish. Hey, we need to move the country forward. We need to, this is our country. We need to restructure and we move it forward and we go backwards. You just, all of you are hypocrites. All of you in Abuja, you all cowards and hypocrites, all of you. That is why you're suffering. And the main army of Islam is coming. You see what they will do to you. I will be at the forefront campaigning the whole world that nobody should intervene. These people are evil. You are evil. You are evil in this world and evil in the next life. And on top of that, it's cowardice. Everybody looking for excuse not to act. Every time excuse not to act. Because inside you as a black man, you are you are the embodiment of of of, of, of Satan. Satan inhabits your soul. Journalists so are lying. The time now is 16 minutes past. 16 minutes past 10. I must preach. If you don't like it, you get away. I must preach the truth. In this church, you disgust me. You disgust me because you can't reason. A whole news channel is helping, helping an illegal, uh, uh, helping people that committed high crimes and misdemeanors to stay in office because they give them money. You're a black man. That's what you're doing. You are evil. That's what you're doing. You complain of that. that why is if I'm a white man, I will slaughter all of you. You are evil. You are evil. I'll kill all of you. You people are not a white man. I will slaughter all of you. You people are evil. A black man in Africa is evil. How can a judge say, remind somebody in custody because he wants to get money? Not because person is guilty. How can a news, a journalist, that claims they are ethical, go and get a video and falsify that video and issue it to the public just to deceive because they get money. 
Who are you people? Why are you people this bad? Why? Black people are asking you. Black people from Africa, especially in the zoo called Nigeria, why are you people just this horrible? Why? Why? Now, oh my goodness. Why are they doing this? They want to stay in power because they need Islam to rule, according to Obama. They want Islam everywhere. According to Democrats in America, I said Democrats in America, they want Islam everywhere. You don't know. Democrats in America, they want Islam everywhere. If you don't know, let me tell you. I will come to the reason why they are doing it. I want us to go to the picture of uh, Oshibajo. I want to prove to you now that Oshibajo is dead. That's why they are lying. I want to prove it to you with uh, facts and see. That's, uh, you, you know me. I don't talk rubbish. <laughs> Once they start to hide you, <laughs> bring out, uh, bring you out, uh, Photoshop for you. <laughs> I want to like a person. <laughs> you are gone, no? <laughs> you are gone. Once they start the Photoshop, it's bye bye. <laughs> Bye bye, bye bye, you are gone. This picture I'm posting now on my wall is the reason why I maintain that Ushibajo is dead. Ushibajo is dead. He's a man that I happen to like very much, and I have no reason why. I, 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 I don't even understand why I like him. I like him. I think he's a gentleman. I think he's a gentleman. Oh, dear me. Ushibajo is in trouble. Let me put it that way. It's serious trouble. <laughs> Do you know why Osibaja is in trouble? I want to post this thing on my face so you can see it very, very well. Very, very well. I, I believe that it's gone. I posted it now. And, uh, you, know, you know, I kept asking myself, you know, when you watch all those detective films, and you, uh, in a crime scene, you see somebody snapping, snapping picture all the time. I kept wondering, asking, why would they, you know me, I reason very well. I'm a black man, but I reason. I taught myself how to reason. It's that from my father. I, you must teach yourself how to reason. You know, when I watch all those CSI, all those investigative uh, um, drama, you know, I keep asking, well, why all the time you're snapping pictures? You put it on the wall, why? Do you know, last night was when I found the answer. I've been asking this question for, for many, for over 20 years. I found the answer only last night because I kept looking for the answer. Do you know how I discovered it? I went to NTA. Somebody being very clever, that's why I love my Facebook page. I'm telling you the truth. Forget about what Facebook is doing. I was, because I read every comment. Even if it's like, let me be 20,000, I read all of them. I hardly sleep anyway. I was going to the comments, and somebody said that in the NTA, news, 9 o'clock news last night, that he was watching, that Osibanjo was changing color. I called him and I said, go and find this. Find me this. this is. I called, um, I had to do it myself. So I did it myself. I went, luckily for me, I found it. NTA News at nine live. I said hallelujah. I started watching from the beginning. At the time I said, no, let me snap the pictures. So as the as the as the as the video was was rolling, I kept snapping frame upon frame. And I compared I, I did a bit of detective work last night. Too. I put all the pictures down on the screen. I looked at them. It was then that it occurred to me that the student is no more. That that very video Shot and screened by NTA. Remember before it was the uh, channel, so now it's NTA. It was just a pack of lies. Do you know why it's a lie? Hey, Elohim, Chukukabiyama. Everything we do, everything we do is to your glory, not to the glory of man. Do you know as I started, uh, on that very video, at two minutes past nine, as NTA was telling us what <clears throat> Osibaja was doing his presentation. I have posted it now. As Osibaja started speaking, there was no face mask. He was sitting in the hall, reading out his speech. 
no face mask. Now, you'll be shocked. After, at two minutes later, in the same frame, Osibajo is now wearing glasses with a face mask, still reading the same speech. And I watched again to see in the video when he put on his face mask and his glasses, there was none. It was a continuous frame. Are you listening to me? <laughs> and I have published it. It's on my page now. You can see when he started, two minutes past nine, he was reading, no face mask, no glasses, in the same NTA, the same NTA. And the third NTA, as it moved down only two minutes, slightly over two minutes later, he's now wearing a mask and wearing glasses. <laughs> so, do you think people can deceive us? Do you know who we are? I keep asking you, do you think you can defeat IPOB? You cannot. Not today, but the more you delay, the more you delay in calling for that very negotiation in the U.S., that's how we negotiate. The, the more you delay, the more ridicule and the more price of ordinary innocent people will pay inside Nigeria with their life and their blood. You started reading. I was watching the NTA. I have the original. I'm waiting for them to play Hanky Panky. Then I bring out the NTA original. I have it. He started reading. No face mask. All of the sudden, all of the sudden from nowhere. As I kept snapping the frame, look at him. He's not wearing glasses and face mask. Hey. Oh, dear me. Now you understand, don't you? The reason why I, they say I insult people. Why won't I insult you? You are dumb. I have no time for idiots who cannot reason. Because in Biafra, idiots should not be in Biafra. I'm being honest with you. Because we need you to reason to hold the government to account. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter. Once you're serving the people, we hold you to account. <laughs> Look at them now. Look at them. They think they can lie. They think they can lie. They think they can lie. They don't know who we are. I am on the time That name will haunt you people forever and ever. And uh, <laughs> it's very awesome IPOD. Who can forget? A movement that God designed in heaven. Spiritual. Nobody will go. When we go out, millions come. Nobody is paid to do anything. We don't give data money to anybody. No matter the level of hardship, we are back here. They are wondering how can they be paying $85,000 knowing fully well that. Has an evil man cannot give you money. Therefore, he knows that it is. <laughs> yeah, it's clear. They know it. Very well. He said, go to the gossip. We don't want to gossip to break this. We don't want to break this. We don't want to break man give you, you are, you are dreaming. The man give you money. You are a, a dreamer. You say, our money, our money. He really got to put one, not one penny. Not one dime. He's an evil man. That's the way they break. That's their heart. They are wired in their brain. And they are raping their daughters. And it's calculating. What do I gain? What is going to be my gain in all this? <laughs> I, we are decimating the zoo, the complete and utter destruction of the zoo. If we see that there is a lie, bring him out for a live interview in your language. He is a dead man. Bring the Sibadi out. Let him do an interview in Yoruba language. Usibajo is dead. That's why you're hiding it and, and faking your... You think, we know this first video, when we see one, we brought your attention to it, 
All these nonsense, all these games, the, no matter how you set a video, IPOB will discover where the, the, the force, we will show you where the force are. You think why we, you think why you're You think why you're me? <laughs> Zoo is in trouble. But that is not all of, <laughs> we have not finished. I have not, I said I have not finished. I have not finished. We must preach this gospel. I have not finished. I feel sorry for those who, who cannot go to Facebook as they are listening. I have not finished. Channel television, bring back the video you took down, bring it back. You liar. Do you want to ridicule me? So the earth, it has been on the camera said, Burata is gone, it's no longer coming back. Let us, let us confuse the goal of 200 million once again. You don't know I'm waiting for you. I can't push you and not show you where to land. I cannot ask you a question without knowing the answer. Before I say anything, I know how you zoo people behave. I know you will try to counter me, and the more you come with your counter, the more mistakes you make. And that's when we nail you. We know what we're doing. You know what is a, a trap in the, those old, uh, olden days trap we have, made of metal? You are like a little rat. We put you a, a bit of dry fish on the, on the uh, trap. On, on, uh, that's what we call it, where I come from. And you, you crawl and you come, you want to eat the dry fish. And it will ensnare you. That's what we do. We give you a teaser. We say all the things. Then you come out with your mistake, and then we nail you with it. You see, but is dead. Dead, Yoruba. Your son is dead. They are just playing him. And I know their plan. The, the closer the, the zoo gets to collapsing, the more they intensify their killings and their terrorism. They know that very well. But we are waiting. Teachers and you know. In a short while, we'll tell you what we're made up of. We will tell you. Then, then you know how serious we are. <laughs> Keep on fooling yourselves. No, I have not finished. I'm not done. I'm not going anywhere. I must preach. I have to preach a gospel that God said I must preach to the living. I must preach this very gospel to the living. I have another picture to post because this very day, Things are happening in the zoo. Things are happening in the zoo. And I'm going to shock you. I am going to shock you. All of you. <laughs> I'm going to shock you. Do you know the funny thing? The same channels again. The same channels TV again. Do you know what they did? Do you know what they did? They published a picture of Osiba as handing over the economic sustainability, whatever, document to a man they claim is Buhari, but who we know to be Aisha Buhari's boyfriend. Now, look at that very well in the picture. Channel Television posted a picture. In that picture posted by Channel TV, Osiba just left arm is missing. Look at it now. I posted it on my wall. Go and have a look. At it. The left arm is missing. It was posted by channels. I had to screenshot everything, even with the comments and the likes and people laughing at them. You can see channels, everybody that gets or watches channel television is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a complete imbecile. He's an idiot of the highest order. Channel TV, useless. You are better off listening to, to, to high life music on, uh, on a radio station drinking Pama and Tombo. You are better off. Channel TV posted a picture where the arm, the left, the left arm of the vice president was missing. And you're telling me that Shibaja is alive. You must be, you must be insane. That means you cannot reason very well. That means you cannot reason very well. The left arm is missing. Bill Gates is 64 years old, according to Everest in Austin. 64 years old, Bill Gates. Look at a 64-year-old Bill Gates and a, a so-called allegedly 79-year-old uh, boy. Are you telling me that blacks are normal? You want me to respect you. You want me to talk to you with respect. How can I respect you when an orangutan is better than you? I is better, I prefer an ape, monkey, chimpanzee is better for me than some of you. Without reason. You don't reason at all. You see black people. Black. 
Monkeys everywhere. Monkeys, you are. Even monkeys are better. Look at the picture of a 64-year-old. Look at the picture of a 79-year-old and tell me there is nothing wrong with your brain. Tell me that God did not cross you. Now, I'm, I'm coming on. It's, it's not over. Oh, far from it now. It's not over. Can you see? Can you see? The left arm of Hosea God is missing. The vice president. But I'm a, I, I'm a legend. Now, they cannot use a legend. I, I'm, no, they can use a legend. On this June 12th, I'm a legend. With the time now at 27 minutes to 11 a.m. in the morning. From where I am, I'm telling you now that uh, not only his arm is missing, the whole of the super is missing. All faith. We've been educated. You see why education is good. You know, all that time we spent telling you about deep faith, telling you about um, um, hyperlytic face mask, is to prepare you for a time like this. Now, do you see how easy it is now for people to, to assimilate what we're saying? Do you see how easy it has become? Do you see how easy it is? Isn't is that the benefit of education? If you miss the gospel that I preach, uh, I don't know. I don't know where you get common sense from. I don't spare anybody. I don't spare anybody. I don't. I don't. Because I am doing the will of God. I am doing the will of Elohim. Now, <laughs> you, are, you are about to, to, to be even shocked the more. They think they are smart. <laughs> they think they are sensible. They think uh, they have what it takes. But we are smarter than them. We are a, a, a whole lot uh, uh, smarter than them. <laughs> smarter than them. I posted this yesterday. Allow me to reiterate. For those who are just joining us, for those who may want to inquire to find out what is happening, why all the commotion, why all the madness, why all the confusion. It is a man, not the mad, it is a man. I want you to look at this one that I've just posted. In the first pictures I did last night, I posted it last night, in the same economic forum, that if you go and have a look at NTA, Osibajo wasn't wearing any face mask, <laughs> but in the picture, <laughs> she made me here in this very picture. <laughs> God in I, I did a very good work last night, though. I need to be commended, honestly. Uh, maybe I should be an investigator as well. Do you see what happens in life? When you are somebody who is reasonable and you look at everything critically and you analyze every situation, you become a detective overnight. I have posted a picture. There is a typographical error in the second one. It's a man, not a mad, man, man, man it is. If you look at that very picture very carefully, you will see the same, they are thinking as well as them now. They have finished. According to NTA news, they have finished, I think, the national anthem. All of a sudden, a man who appeared on the left-hand side of Osibaja is no longer there. Only a few seconds, eight seconds later, he has disappeared. <laughs> hey, these fake videos everywhere. A whole national television. Do you see what NTA and channels are doing? So that when you're poor, you don't go to good schools, you have bad roads, blame NTA, blame channel television. They are black people, and when they go to their clubs and all those uh, places they go to, they will complain, oh, Nigeria is bad, oh, Nigeria is bad, oh. They never have blamed themselves what they have done to contribute to the badness of the Jew called Nigeria. Let me have a sip of water because I'm a human being and I'm alive. I'm not Jubril who is dead, no, no, Bugari. Do you see how if you challenge IPOB, you go down? Have you seen it? The man was missing you. To his left, oh, it's a play, you know? the man to the left of Osibajo is gone. It means it is fake. Absolutely fake. 
That is what is happening in the zoo. Everything about Nigeria is fake. And if you didn't stop there, I'm not going to stop. Who said I'm going to stop? I'm not going to stop there. And what I want to dismantle them this morning of June 12th, their so called democracy. I want to dismantle them all their lies to, to allow us our approach into our rock to be very clear. I want to demolish all their nonsense, all their lies and deception. Complete destruction. Eight seconds later, the man to the left has disappeared from the picture, from the frame. I said, I have the video. It's a news on news. Have the video. And a few days before that, a few days before that, <laughs> they said, they said, hey, um, <laughs> somebody doesn't look that big. Hey, <laughs> the children of the Most High, I feel the, the children of God in heaven. I'm doing all these things so that you can know that God sent us to do this work. If not, what we know, if we have not the knowledge of what we know, never. If not, what did he give it to you? <laughs> I'm talking about Robert Sabo Sabo with the bottom. Why didn't Elohim give you the amount of intelligence, knowledge, and wealth inside IPOB? Have you asked yourself why? Because you are black and you're evil. And you're a little demon. That's why we are the children of the Most High. That's why they call us Umu Chineke, the children of light. That's what IPOB represents. Anything we touch is gold. We are there and our enemies are falling. On their own sword, our enemies are collapsing. After listening to this, the whole world is listening. After listening to this program, do you think anybody will take the zoo seriously again? Of course not. And they wait for the program on Sunday. Sunday is Armageddon. And the, the, the final of finals is on Sunday. After that preaching on Sunday, the world can no longer be the same. I can assure you. I can assure you. As they are lying and busy deceiving themselves, producing fake video after fake video, Lies after lies. Deception after deception. I want to bring to your attention another lie, another lie, another deception that they have concocted. I will find it. I am working alone, but I will find it to prove to the world that these deceivers cannot be allowed to get away with this nonsense. They cannot be allowed to get away with it. It is not just possible. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Where is it? Hey, where is it? I want to find it and show the whole world. Because it is called the National Executive Council meeting. The next meeting. Have you forgotten? It took place. Uh, that was... Um, Next meeting took place on the 10th of June, two days ago. Two days ago, it took place. I now want to show you what became of the zoo after that very meeting. I, want, I just want to point out all the lies and the deception. That's what I'm trying to do. To point out the lies and the deception of the zoo. What they have been doing. All their lies. All their lies. What they have been doing to you to confuse you, to deceive you. To make you think it is IPOB that is mad. It is IPOB who don't know what they are doing. That is what we are doing today. To prove to them and to the whole world that we are the ones who are blessed with knowledge. We are the ones who are blessed with intelligence. We are the ones that the whole world is looking up to. And not to them. Not to them. Not at all. Not at all. Not to them. I want to prove it to the whole world, please. Just bear with me for a second. I have it. I now have it. And I have it. This particular picture I am posting on my wall on Facebook. I am posting it. They call it, they, they said they had a virtual meeting. Which is what, this is the virtual presidency. Because nobody knows what is going on. Nobody knows who is in charge. All we have about is presidency, presidency, presidency. Nobody's in charge, basically, as uh, Wilson said. 
is a virtual president. It's virtual. It doesn't exist. It is not real. I have posted a picture. In that very picture of the of the <laughs> oh dear me. Oh dear me. Oh dear me. The first picture was taken on the 10th of June. The second picture was taken on the 11th of June. Do you know the funniest thing between these two pictures? That they are the same thing. The base of the picture is the same. Look at the man in blue wearing white face mask behind the man who is saluting. Can you see the man, the policeman to his left uh, uh, saluting, or should I say to the right of the supervisor also saluting? Can you see the man? So, how come in a meeting, one is a virtual meeting, one is a proper NEC meeting, you have the same policeman saluting everybody from the same position? How is that possible? <laughs> How is the ZMM How can you, <laughs> the man in blue that they, put, that they photoshopped in as well, he went home after the meeting on the 10th, changed his clothes, changed, changed and came back the next day wearing the same clothes but only changed his hat. Can you people believe that? Can you people believe that? Can you believe it? It is the same picture that they have photoshopped into one is on the tent. Go to Tony Additional's wall, you see it. I got it from Tony Additional's wall. Go ahead, you see it. One was taken on the tent, one was taken on the eleventh. The same thing. The same people saluting. The same people behind them at the same time in the same position. How possible is that? <laughs> Hey, the that damnable zoological republic. Over there, friend Sue. Over there, friend Sue. The zoo has no government. I'm proving it to the whole world. I am telling you, on Democracy Day, I am telling the whole world that Nigeria has no democracy. None whatsoever. What do you have is a, a bunch of charlatans, criminals, insane. Kleptomaniacs, insane. They want to buy Mercedes Maybach for their loved ones. And they have to be in power to make that happen. Do you see how they are demolishing the zoo? Bit by bit. I'm sure in the offices now in Abuja, everybody is looking at each other and saying, hey, oh, 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 The people from Iboran will say, Demolition. I told them, I will destroy the zoo with the truth as your Puchineke. Nothing more. Have I fired a shot? Have I killed anyone? No. Just the truth. Hello, Jim. So, Chukoki Kadama, where's the MOZ? Get me a message. You will speak that truth before anybody. That truth will bring down. That castle of darkness called Nigeria. Today we are doing it, aren't we? <laughs> one picture taken on the 10th, the other one on the 11th, the same picture. And people are going about, oh, Nigeria, I can't. If we're in Nigeria, if we're Mr. President, Mrs. President, we're we'll talking rubbish. Talking nonsense. And these are people you expect to have a little bit of common sense. There is no common sense. And you want a white man to respect you when you as a black person, you are a bundle of idiocy and stupidity. You are not deserving of any respect. You don't. If the people are not here, if I'm a police officer, I will open or uh, uh, get a machine gun and start firing all of you. You hypocrites. Have you been to Africa to see what black people are doing to black people in Africa? Have you been to Africa to see it? You are protesting, talking rubbish. In Africa, somebody stole the future of 200 million people and their children. And their children. And all of you are, are sheepishly moving about, pretending all is well. 
uh, idiots that, 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 that claims you went to school. Uh, I, I saw Mr. President. I'm asking, is it this one? Is it this boy you saw? Cowards everywhere. Cowards everywhere. We have destroyed the zoo. Line by line, bit by bit. We are displaying their shame that the world may know how foolish they are. That the world may know how foolish Nigerians are. How foolish they are. The same picture. Over two days, the same picture. Having a mama mama, the same picture. Are you gone? You no longer change. You no longer move. The same policeman is saluting from the same position. You see a statue? You think we are? You think we are dumb? I told you I would destroy the Jew. Can you see it happening? Can you not see it? That is one. We are proceeding. <laughs> We've not finished. <laughs> we are proceeding. Why are they doing all these things, you may ask? Why are they doing it? Why are they doing it? You don't know the reason? I'm going to give you the reason why they are doing it. I want to find the reason and give it to you why they are doing what they are doing. They want to stay in power. It is about Islamization. It is about Obama. They want to spread Islam. Some of you don't know the battle that Trump is fighting because you are not in the spirit. You are not in the spirit. You are not discerning enough. You are not reasonable enough. I saw a video of a rape. I will play that on Sunday and anywhere else in the world. With that very video, they will match the face of the culprit. They will catch them. They will prosecute them. But in your case, because you're in a zoo, nothing ever happens. And you want respect. Let, let, uh, this very video is the reason why they do what they do. This is the reason why they do what they do. They want Islam to take over. They want everybody to be Islamized. Islam is the reason why Aisha is now a de facto president and her boyfriend addressed you this morning. I said her boyfriend. They just sat in there and used his body frame and his mouth moving. It's not that he was there physically. It's called hologram artificial intelligence technology. I've thought about it. I've 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 cheated on that before. Go and check it. Islam is the reason why the the, the Fulani Janjaweed are holding on to power with their their lives. That is why. That is why. Islam is the reason why. And I'm going to play it for you before we go slightly interactive this morning. I want us to be a little bit interactive. Today, I'm going to play it for you so that you may know why they do what they do and the Yoruba media supporting them, channel television. Do you see why Tinubu is supporting them? It is an Islamic agenda. But the Yoruba don't know that Yoruba Islam is fake. Huh? <laughs> they will kill all of you. Ask a Yoruba man, a Muslim, ask Tinubu, Tinubu as you are, can you go, today is Friday, can you travel up? to the north, to the day that is Friday, and hold a Juma prayer. And uh, Fulani will follow you. The answer is no. Even if a 10-year-old boy is there, that 10-year-old will live rather than Tinubu. So Yoruba is land. They see it as fake. I'm telling you the truth. Don't you know that before? <laughs> come here, I'll tell you the truth. You may not like it, but it is the truth. Eventually, eventually you will accept it. The reason why is because of Islam, and I'm going to play the clip for you, that the whole world may hear, that IPOB will stand vindicated. That is the reason why. Because of Islam. Let's play it. Listen. I'm a United Member Nation. All non Muslim religions, such religions shall include Christianity. The word Christianity in the communique was underlined. To ensure only Muslims are elected to what political post of men. To ensure only, this is the communique of the Organization of Islamic 
country. They call it now cooperation. This was the script that Obama was acting out. Obama, you tell, is a black man. This was the script. That was why Jonathan was removed. That is why, rather than give it to an evil man, they would rather give it to Tinubu. Or maybe a Shomole. Because they cannot allow a Christian to be in natural world. Nigeria is an Islamic country. You cannot be going to Saudi Arabia and claiming you're an Islamic country and be, to be taken seriously when a Christian is in natural rock. It's not possible. Now, do you understand it? Are you following? That is what this very preacher is telling us here. I will start again from the beginning. It's on my page on Facebook. Go and have a look at it. And you will be astonished. The reason why they do what they do is they kill the men they kill. And when you tell uh, some politicians in, in, in Washington, well, that's a, that's his former head of class. <laughs> but of course, we've changed all of that now. We've changed all of that. When we're asking for funding, for help, assistance, people say, oh, are you sure that scammers, oh, they'll scam you? Now America is talking every blessed day. People are now jumping up and down, you know, looking forward to the hope that is going to come from the USA. According to the will of God, of course. According to the will of the Most High. I want you to listen to this before we close today. Listen. Reform and ratification. Listen. Now Nigeria is a member nation. All non-Muslim religions. Such re Nigeria is a member to eradicate. According to them, their their stated aim is to eradicate in all its forms and ramifications all non-Muslim religions in member nations. Such religions include Christianity, Ahmadiyya, other tribal modes of worship unacceptable to Muslims. The word Christian was underlined. Do you see why they have killed Osibajo? Rather, because they know that Buhari is dead, and Osibajo knows that Buhari is dead. It's only Osibajo they can hand over. They have not killed him. Let's listen. John shall include Christianity. The word Christianity in the communique was underlined. To ensure only Muslims are elected to all political posts of member nations, to ensure the appointment of only Muslims into strategic national and international only them. member nations, to ensure the ultimate replacement of all Western forms of legal and judicial systems with the Sharia, then to make sure that this strategy works. Because it's going to require money. Matangida, as the first appointed president of Nigeria, put his hand into the president of Nigeria, 221. The man that removed Jonathan, Babangida, by asking uh, Dajiti to be at the helm of affairs. Let's listen. Million dollars out and gave it to OIC, OIC, the Islamic Development Fund of OIC, and said, Take this money for the total, I'm quoting, for the total Islamization of Nigeria. Total Islamization. That's how carrying it out. And some media say, Oh, I'm in Lagos, I have investments in Lagos, investments in Kaduna, and they killed one another, an investor in, in, in Lafia, or is it Bagwalada? They killed him. The video is on my page. Let's listen. In particular, and Africa in general. Babangida paid $21 billion of our money to turn Nigeria to an Islamic nation. $21 billion. Babangida, that's devil. Babangida, devil, they call you devil. That devil in a wheelchair, Babangida, took it to OIC. That was when Khan had cloud. Khan was of Christian spoke. And uh, he sort of, um, you know, watered down a little bit. That was why Alex Yopuemi couldn't have gone. Or Basanjo is basically one of them. He's a coward. He's one of them. He can't do anything. Ulu Farai would have been a better president. Everybody uh, knows that. But they said, no, they give it to Basanjo, they're houseboys. After that, now they pick up Tilubu, they're houseboys. I don't know why Yoruba prefers to serve as a houseboy to the gender weed. I have no idea why. What they will know. And they have started. Boko Haram, don't look at it as something that is isolated to the North. It's, it's meant to cover 
the entire nation until Christianity is eradicated. Until Christianity is what? Tested in all its forms and ramifications. Eradicated. And some of you don't reason. I keep saying, and I'm, I'm sure, of course, white people are listening. They're listening via tuning. Some of you have forgotten there was a time when I used to come on air every night. Radio Biafra was trending as the most listened radio station in the whole world, even more than BBC. Have you all forgotten? When I used to broadcast every day, people listen to Radio Biafra more than they listen to BBC. Are you aware of that? Are you aware? You don't even know how far we've come. Now, do you remember last week or two weeks ago they were saying, Boko Haram is, is, um, is, um, is going to surrender. They went and they were begging Shekau that Shekau should take his jihad to the south. Conquer the south for them. Are you aware of it? That was when the times were good. They said, oh, what? They're going to, to surrender. And the terms of the deal was that Shekau will come out and say, I have surrendered and now take his men to the south. They don't know that Shekau as mad as he is, is a principled man. Shekau is a principled man. He said, no, I will remain in the northeast. That was why it fell apart. They started saying, oh, watch it now. They, I think they, they, they want, uh, we are getting signals. They want to surrender. That was when Aisha Buhari was begging them. According to the wishes of the dead Buhari, remember that when Buhari pleaded with Shekau to stop, Attacking the north. Shekau said no. Buhari now went and sponsored the son of Yusuf. Tried to divide. Bukharan into two. That was how uh, Al Banawi came up. Al Banawi is the son of Yusuf. Because Buhari is involved. The job of Al Banawi, Al Banawi's men are the ones now coming down. The job of Al Banawi is to attack military installations and the Christians. If you don't know, if you don't know, that Alban was arrested. Not about the same time I was arrested. He came to court. They gave him bail. No condition. He walked away from Abuja Federal High Court. Are you listening? For those who to toddling around in the creek. That's right. Eh? For those who to 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 swimming in the in the swamp in the creek. Mokoko. Alban was released. To bring his men down south. They are the ones who are coming. With the help of Dan Gotes, a well planned. Uh, uh, don't worry now. I said, don't worry. You'll see what will happen soon. Don't worry. I said, don't. Mark my words. I said, don't worry. Mark the date. I said, don't worry. They can rape here and there, kill here and there. But for their main army to unleash on our land, they know it's suicide. If their main army is unleashed on our land, we will not only confront them. And God is my witness, any idiotic diplomat anywhere in the world should hear this. Any fool, any closet jihadist, white or black, hear this very well. If God in heaven is my witness, to go to God and I serve is my witness, any day they launch any concerted attack on the land of Biafra, that war will not stop until Sokoto Caliphate falls. Write it down. Write it down. Any day you launch an attack on our land, God is my, we will fight that war for a hundred years until the Sokoto, the, the house of the Sultan of Sokoto is, is, is demolished. Then you know how mad we are. We have not shown you our, we are showing our madness in diplomacy in a few down and there. You will now see the unveiling of the madness of IPOB. Then you will understand that we have men. Take that your madness. To the north and be doing that rubbish because the zoo is ending this year. Whether Yoruba like it or not, Yoruba can remain in slavery for the rest of them. That's their business. They love slavery. They, they took the money from you and did nothing. So you can remain as slaves if you like. But we are going from three people who not come down and mad people everywhere. So we are going to put up with this rubbish. Is that what you think? We think now they can live in the after you think I'll put up with all this rubbish. <laughs> oh, you're you insane. Now, this was not mentioned in the introduction because I don't think that it's something I want to talk about, but I just have to mention it. So, God told us to go to Turkey and learn certain things 
September last year, God in Turkey, Turkey was Constantinople, the head of the church in the East. The Orthodox Church was headquartered in Constantinople. The man that gave you Jesus Christ more or less. The man that made Jesus Christ fashionable. The man that put the New Testament together. Emperor Constantine. His base was in Constantinople. Present day Turkey. Istanbul. Do you understand? Today, Turkey is an Islamic country. A Lauren was Yoruba land. A Lauren was Yoruba land. Today it is an Emirate. Why don't you ever learn from history? Why don't you ever learn? Anyway, that brings us to the close of the program today. But before we continue, or should I, should I say, before we discontinue, as you say, let us take, I'm not going to take, I don't know if I will take calls or take messages. Once I start with calls now, they will flood everywhere, and I will not be able to, to hear myself reading. Let us see if we can be able to take calls on WhatsApp. Can we take calls on WhatsApp, please? If you know how to reach us, then try and reach us. We are going to attempt to take calls on WhatsApp. Let me try and get these things working and see, and see if we can connect to make it possible for people to be able to speak. Once you call, please, you begin to speak. You begin to speak. I don't want people wasting time and asking, oh, can you hear me? Can you not hear me? I want you, once you are with us, you begin immediately to speak, please. Very, very critical, very, very important. And once again, I will give you the telephone. Somebody is calling. I will answer this very call. The caller, from, the caller on the phone, can you hear me? Your name and where you're calling from, please. Oh my goodness, they, they keep coming. The, the flooding is too much. Can you hear me? You can hear me. Let me see. I don't, I don't even know how to, to, to direct the call so that you will, not, you will be able to hear me. Um, the caller on the phone, can you hear me? People can't, won't allow us to rest. The calls are too many. Always too, too much. I don't know. We need to try and do something about it. I don't know how the settings work in iPhone so that one can take only one call. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, please. Give us your name and where you're calling from. Okay, my name is Nathan Kelly. I'm calling from our mama in The same as one mama that mad people come from. Yes, yes, I'm calling from our mama. Come on, Mama, please go ahead, please go. What do you want to say? Okay, I want to thank you very much for opening our eyes. Oh my God! Uh, can, can you hold on, please? I, I don't, I don't know the reason why I cannot seem to be able to control, to control the. It, it is just madness. I don't know how to control it. We have tech savvy people, and I, I wish they can be able to help us sort this thing out. The calls keep flooding in, and I'm trying to. How do I disable this thing? I don't want it to be on hold. And but it's not. It's not. It's not listening. I, I can't understand. I cannot, for the life of me, understand this very thing. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. And please, if you have any, if you have anything to say, if you have anything, please try and go to my page. I'm going to read out. I will be able to read out. Um, let me try this one again and see if it will work. The calls are just... I want to disable it. Is it allowing me to disable it? I don't know. Can you hear me, the caller on the phone? Good morning to you, please. Your name and where you're calling from? I'm calling from Bangkok. From Bangkok, it's in Thailand, and I was there a few years ago. Please go ahead. What would you like to say? What I want to say is about a uh, member of uh, IPOB. I want to be a member, and uh, I have uh, contacted them, and um, they gave me the leaflet of the oath that I should swear. I agreed, and I told them 
that also I, I agree on this time, but I am allowed to criticize or say my opinion in a good way, not meant to destroy IPOB or destroy the leader. And they said, no, I'm not allowed to say anything. I just have to do the odd like that. And I just think like, it's too strict. You know, I'm not, I don't have any bad intention. Do you have anything to say about this? Do you, why do you want to join IPOB to start with? Why? Why, do you, why, why, why don't you join another group? Why IPOB? Um, I love your, um, your style and uh, I love the promises you have made and uh, I'm in support in overall. I just want to give support to Biafra, nothing more than that. just want to give my support and make, and make my contributions. The reason, why, the reason why we are where we are today is because of the level of discipline that we have. We have nothing, only the grace of the Most High, Chukobika Biyama. So the only next thing we have is discipline that is unmatched anywhere in Africa. That is why a movement like IPOB can crush a country, can crush a dictatorship. We didn't do it because uh, we are uh, every day we flip and play criticize for the sake of it. We welcome criticism. But you cannot tamper with the oath. You must be under oath. Then you can say whatever you like, you can write whatever you like, you can advise, but not to destroy. Because we know that some of us, after the war, our mothers were impregnated by the full and the ginger wheat. And although that some of us are half Biafra, half full and it, we understand that. Sometimes that full and blood will always come up. So, there, so once you take an oath, that full and blood is gone. It's clear from the system. I have gotten your point. This is what I really want to know. I am very, very grateful so that I can give other people a chance. I can go, I can proceed now to swear the oath. You have given me the assurance that I am allowed to express my feelings of course. in a constructive way that will not intend of, of to destroy the IPOB. Of course. Of I just course. want to clear my conscience. Of course. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Thank you very, very much. You. We are live and we have many people are calling from everywhere. Let us take this call. Who is the caller on the line? Your name, please, and where you're calling from? Hello. Yes, your name and where you're calling from? Yeah, my name is um, Ogun now. I'm calling from Ibuacha. From Ibuacha, the beautiful land of Ibuacha, and the future capital of Biafra land. Go ahead, please. Yes. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, you see the problem? Somebody called now from, from Bangkok. There was no problem. Can you see can you see the life our the life we are living? Somebody called from Thailand now, there was no problem. So as soon as you call from <laughs> once you call from anywhere called Nigeria, there's a problem. I'm sorry, my dear brother. I would have loved to listen to you. I'm very sorry. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, your name and where you're calling from? Yeah, my name is Charles Obidike. I'm calling from Onisha. Go on, Obidike, go ahead. I just, want to thank I just want to thank my leader this morning. All he has been saying is nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So, even... I saw witnessing Nigeria being a firm state since 1966 when my father was killed in the canal by those men that was doing boxmen for him. He was a first class engineer driver then and he was killed with a knife. And since that time to today, Nigerian people have been killing people. So all this slaughtering that we are seeing today, and it doesn't surprise me. And that is why I am no longer going to the north anymore. So what Nnamdekali is doing is very true. And religious people that have been, they have been enslaving us in this country for so many years, telling us lies. While I know that the Bible, even Jesus Christ, they are, are preaching for us, said in John chapter 8, 32, that only the truth has set us free. So when, when Master Nnamdekali came, came up with this truth, I know that it will go a long way. So I want to appreciate God and to put Kadama for him that he should take it off. And we are hoping to see Biafra as he has assured us this year 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. He said, he said, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. And I ask you to guide, sustain, and bless, and keep you immensely. We have another caller on the line. We have someone on the line. Your name and where you're calling from, please. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, this is a call from London. And uh, my name is Francis Atuego. Yeah, um, I just want to, to, to tell you to go ahead with what you're doing. As long as you're, you're for Biafra, for freedom, we're all behind you. Thank you. Thank you. What, what else should I be for? Having lost my parents, having lost my parents, uh, there is nothing else. I am focused on doing from day one, since the day I was born. Most of you don't know the day I was born. One day I will tell you the precise day and the time. The time and the reason why I was born on that very day. One day I will tell you. One day I will tell you. I have just received the information here. That <laughs> TVC News, which belongs to Tinubu, said that the whole thing was live. We are at the NTA that belongs to the zoo called Nigeria. It is not live. <laughs> hey! Zoological Republic. I wish I can post it. I wish I can have this posted that the world may see it. The calls are just too much. Way too much. Way too much. Way too much. What is happening to the calls? Are, are they not coming again? It's just all I can see. The system has actually. <laughs> the calls are actually cracked the system. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. That is the strength of IPOB. We are all over the world. All over the world. All over the world. Uh, was there somebody calling? Do we have somebody on the line? Let me see. We have, do we have any other person on the line? Yes. Let us go and take this call. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Hello. Good morning, sir. My name is Hiago Elizabeth. Elizabeth, please try it. Yeah, Daddy, I just want to thank you very much for the good work that you are doing. And uh, it's because of you, I know that Biafra, that my mother is from Biafra. I even asked my mother, why is she tying to rapper? She said uh, she she, grew, she met her mother tying to a rapper. And I, I told her that you are Biafra. She said she don't know what countries are called Biafra. <laughs> and I said, you are a Biafra woman. And she said, okay. She, she, she said uh, that she's a Biafra woman, that uh, okay, she's a Biafra. And I told her my family, my sister, that they are Biafra. Because my mother, is she's from uh, Sabu, Sabu Gida Ora. And I told her and that she's a Biafra And where is that? From, uh, from uh, um, uh, um, near uh, Ishan, Ishan side. Ishan, from okay. After Ishan, yeah, after Ishan is Sabu. Then I told her that you are a Biafra. And she said she don't know, and she don't, because she didn't go to school, and because of um, what happened to her, no no uh, good uh, resources, right. nobody to take good care of her. And uh, I said you are a Biafra woman. And Daddy, I want to really, really thank you. It's because I've been following you for about two years now, and it's because of you I know that I'm a Biafra. I, they didn't teach me uh, history in school, and I don't know the country, anything called Biafra. So since I've been following you, I, I now know that, yes, I am a Biafra woman. And I, even people is asking me, because I live in the Netherlands, people is asking me where I come from. I said, okay, I came from. I'll for you. Okay. I know anybody that wants to put you down, God will put them down. You I bring more wisdom and knowledge for you, more, wisdom, more knowledge for your family. Because I really, really want Biafra to come. Because now I'm even crying, the killings, the thing everywhere. No, no good, no good vaccine, no good road. <laughs> I don't know. I don't yeah. know. People are blind. People, people don't want to talk. Even the, 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 the so-called artists, they don't want to say it out. And our people are still be fighting you all year, all day. I fighting you. They don't want to, to, to put their head down to know the truth. People know the truth, but they don't want to say it out. They are scared to say it out. Can you imagine if my family? I don't. I, daddy, I find I am even confused. Why? Why? Why am I even? Why God even created me in Africa? It's very sad. 
Um, don't, don't be, it's very, very sad. Very, very sad. Very, very sad. Very, very sad, Daddy, because looking at what, what is happening in the, in the country, eh? And people are out there supporting Nigeria. People are out there, see, 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 see insult you. When they know the truth, they don't want to say it out. God bless you, Daddy. And you too. Don't, don't listen to them and continue to do your good job, sir. Thank Heaven you. Heaven at last for you. He said, thank you very much. Thank you. Our dear sister that just discovered who she is. Her, 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 and she comes from after Isha, which is Jaffa land. If you doubt what we are saying, go through your mother's wardrobe. If she has two piece wrapper, then you are one of us. You are a Biafran. And about the people who are talking, and uh, they say people are complaining, or they are talking, uh, people who are fighting, nobody's fighting me. <laughs> How can you talk fight me? Is that possible? How can you, somebody who is inconsequential fight a child of heaven? I destroy government. I don't fight individuals. I destroy government. As, as I told Buhari, I will destroy you, and he was destroyed. That is the fight I fight. I told him that Yari, he will go down for coming to my house to kill people, and, he, yeah, and he's gone. Who, who, who is a, uh, is a, I don't respond to every madman I see. I'm not crazy. These are mad people. How can I be responding to a, a madman? I can't respond to a madman. I can't respond to a madman. We are live and we are direct, and believe you me, that we have now nearly um, 4,000 calls. How many thousand calls do we have? Let me see. From We are on WhatsApp. Let me see how many thousand. In fact, the, the system has crashed. Too many calls has crashed the system. Now our sister Elizabeth is crying. She is weeping. She is crying. She is complaining. Why was I even born in the first place? And who can blame her? Who can blame her with all the nonsense happening? They say, oh, they are Ishan. You are Ishan. You are this. Oh, you are not evil. Those are evil people. Not knowing we are one. They want, do you see why God chose that I should come? Do you see it? Do you see why I said no? When they said, take your five people states and go, and I said no. I have brothers and I have sisters in Edo. I have them in Delta. I have brothers and sisters even in Ondo. Ondo, Ondo. His own is in Ondo. I will take them with me. The job people in Ondo, I will take them with me. Write it, as I'm speaking, write it down. I will take them with me. So that they may know. I love the girl about this, to be honest with you. As I told you, I, my, my sisters are married there, my cousins are married there. I have them as my nieces and my nephews. But I, the job part, the job part of Ondo, I am taking with me. We are going to be together as one happy family in Biafra land. Everybody will be on their own, managing their own affairs and their own, but all together we are one family. That is why, that was when we started. Do you know how we, we, we uh, uh, this, the, the story of um, IPOB one family, do you know how it began? Started by Karamondo. One day we are talking and talking, Karamondo says that this is a family and it's stuck in my brain. That was how we repeat. And since that time, everybody calls themselves now family. Everybody, everywhere in, in the zoo, everybody is now a family. When they have a get together, they say it's a family. We started it. And it came from a white woman that said, because of the nature and the people that you are, you are one family. That's how it came about. I have a caller on the line, please, your name and where you're calling from. Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Your name, where you're calling from? My name is Iguduchi Nemere. I'm calling from Dakar, Senegal. I am from Iwo State. Amandoba, the finest name, the most beautiful name in Biafra land. Umunuma Amandoba, the most beautiful name. Hey, beautiful name, please go ahead. My king, I tell you, all the job we have been doing for us. We are going back into Facebook. We are not going anywhere. They want to try me. We are not going anywhere. We are not going anywhere. We are continuing. 
we are continuing. We are continuing. We must broadcast. Elohim said we should broadcast, and that is exactly what we are doing. We are live and we are direct, and the whole world is listening. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? The caller on the phone, can, our systems are all over the place. Our systems, they are just crashing left, right, and center. Left, right, and center. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Left, right, and center. It is, our systems cannot cope. They cannot cope. Millions of calls coming in at the same time. It is even, even <laughs> a, a complex gadget as Apple, Apple systems, they are just crumbling all over the place, left, right, and center. I want to see if people can write on WhatsApp and also on Facebook. Let us see exactly what is happening. Let us try and see if we can. I'm telling the truth. I want to take more calls, but the, the system has crashed completely. Crashed completely. This is um, Felix Elijah Anyamo. What are you saying? He's saying I'm too much. Elohim is too much, of course. Thank you very much. Everything we do, we do by the grace of the Most High. I love that name so much. Amandoba. I don't know why I love it. I think it's, it's a very sexy name. Amandoba. Very, very sexy. One day we are going to do a competition. Everybody will say where they come from, as we used to do in the olden days. If you can remember, prior to my incarceration in 2015, we used to do all of that. We'll come on air and we'll say where we come from. And the whole world will be listening and marveling at what we are doing. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? The caller on the phone, can you hear me? You see, they are calling from the zoo. They can't hear me. They cannot hear me. They cannot hear me. We are live and we are direct. Heaven and earth is bearing us witness. Chukotika Biyama is bearing us witness. It's bearing us witness. I don't know what to do. And basically what I'm trying to do is to try and reconfigure the system to see if I can take more calls before we bring our proceedings to a close. The lines are crossing. We have over 5,000 calls, 5,000 missed calls. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Our lines are crashing. We are back again oh, on Facebook. Just think they can stop us. They don't know how stubbornly determined we are. We are IPOB. Very, very determined. Can you, let me tell you something you will not believe. I am trying to switch on this iPhone and it is not working anymore. But let me tell you that even the phone is complaining about the formidability of IPOB. That even iPhone, of all people, is now, of all gadgets, as you say, is also complaining that it's working too hard. We are IPOB. We are relentless. We never stop. <laughs> we do not stop. We keep going. And that's what I'm going to do. I will continue to take your calls. This very morning, we are live. I will continue to take calls this morning, or should I say, heading into afternoon from where I am and also in the blessed land of Biafra. Our lines are open once again. Our lines are open. Let's take this call. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? He is not. Can you hear me? The caller on the phone, can you hear me? He is not listening. He is not listening. And then, believe you me, once I switch the phone on, it freezes again because the, la the calls coming in, even um, an iPhone cannot take it. And that is iPhone 12, for that matter. The pro that some people in the USA bought for me. Wonderful people. When they see me with it now, they'll be wondering, who will go on our you know, we are telling anything. I want to see if I can, if I can take some questions online on Facebook and also on WhatsApp. I want to see if I can take some messages on WhatsApp. Even the WhatsApp that is on the on the computer can't even open that to has crossed. I uh, am sure by now they will be wondering. They will be wondering who are these people taking up all the spaces. Um, 
in their, in their system. I don't believe. He's saying they're trying. Uh, he's not even doing it. That is how serious it is. That is how serious it is. Unbelievable. Let's try and see if we can take calls. Um, I can't take calls on Facebook, can I? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let us try and see what we can do in relation to being able to make this as interactive as possible on this very day. On this very day. Let us try and see what we can do to make it interactive. I want to go back to, to Facebook to try and see if I can take your messages from Facebook. Let me try it from Facebook and see how possible that will be. Let's see, because um, we are around about 4.6. That is not bad. Let me, let me see if I can take some messages. Some of you, let us see what is happening. Um, let us see. Any questions on Facebook, I will take it. Even iPhone is complaining. iPhone is complaining. Apple is complaining. And it's okay from Guinea-Bissau uh, State. I didn't buy that what I was saying. It's just way too much. Way, way, way too much. Um, who is this? Um, blessing Ungozi Ogebet. What exactly are you saying? Blessing Ungozi Ogebet. What are you saying? That one is gone. It's a village in those states. Can they join? Everybody can join IPOB. Once you're an indigenous person, you can join. Once your mother is tied to this rapper, you can join us. We have a lot of people from those states who are part of, I, no, I wouldn't say this, I would say Benin itself, because Asian is, of course, uh, the title is rapper and they are Biafra. They are Biafra. Um, somebody is saying, Sebia and Keegan is saying, um, is that even warriors, are, why wouldn't they be afraid of us? Why would they not be afraid of us? Why would they not be afraid? Omoroma Manduba is a beautiful name, I love it. My goodness, beautiful, beautiful name. So sexy, so sexy. It's a very beautiful name. Forget any other name you may hear. Omono Mamandoba is without doubt the most beautiful and sexiest name we have in Biafra land, unless there are some that I have not heard of before. Unless there are some I have not heard of before. I'm trying to read the messages as you. Somebody is saying that he's in love with me. Non so Christopher. And I love you too. I love you. So, now, so Christopher, may Elohim bless you immensely. God's will. Thank you very much. O'Connor is there. You are arguing with, Donatus said he was arguing with someone. Arguing with who? Donatus, arguing with who? Who were you arguing with? I have missed that very, that very um, um, message. I have missed it. I, Donatus said he was arguing with somebody. I have missed it. Um, Jeff Austin says I'm an inspiration. Elohim is our guide. The zoo is falling. I gone, this, I'm sure they have gone into convulsion. I have proven beyond every reasonable doubt that the zoo doesn't exist anymore. That's what is empty. That was the essence of our program this very morning. This, they said a typical Benin woman ties to peace wrapper. Then they are welcome to this very family. That's a good amigo. Good. We'll go back to that later on. One day I will teach the Benin Kingdom. I will devote three hours to lecturing on the very colorful. You know, it's an institution that I respect so much. Very, very colorful institution. I is way, way, way um can I put it? Beyond the comprehension of most mortals. Thank you very much. Thank Carl Victoria Chimenya. Elohim can never ever forget our job. Bright, more common. You can name your son after me, of course. You may. It's an honor, actually. Thank you very much. Hilary Tochi, Elohim is with you. Chibera, darling, the zoo has fallen already. Lady Hadassah, or something. Hey, when I was general, I'll leave. I want to see if I can find. Where is she? There is, this one is Hadassah. Maybe she's Awasa. I hope she's not full of me. Awasa, please. 
Yes, you can marry Arusa if you want, because they are lovely people. But the Fulani is a bit, um, they have to go back to Sutajalan. Please. Her name is Hadassah, or maybe it will be, they get back to her in the north. Nobody knows. James said it. He said that the Jew is gone. And Elohim is mighty, of course, he is. Kogi ties to this rapper. Once your mother ties to this rapper, you are one of us. You are one of us. Our boundary was determined in heaven, not on this earth. God Almighty drew the boundary. The only people in the whole world that God drew their boundary for them, not man. Because she blessed the God is king, not man. Not man. Once your mother ties to this rapper, you and I are one. One blood and one family. That is why when we say IPAB, we say one family. One family, indivisible, under God. Indivisible under God. I can't you put Joseph. Hello, who is with you? Cassandra, you are blessed. On a Jonathan. Of course, Jaffa is very near. Very near. Mary Judge. Mary Jo. Put her hand there. Hey, is this. I'm suspecting some of these names, so they get back to them in Lagos and the Kanu. So some names I'm seeing here. All the Gandhian will lose each other. Some people we are born outside their foreland. The names I'm seeing here. All these mismatch names. I don't understand it. The Edwin Wanko is one of us. One where is there? Charles Chupu. Chupu the Okafo is a Biafran. Alab also Damian is a Biafran. Sedeus Amechi, you are one of us. Angore Kanwoye. You are one of us. Uh, let me go back to say, oh, to address you with what Oriental brothers used to say in those days, because I cannot mention all your names. Therefore, I will say it in English and also say it in Ebola language. Both those I mentioned and those I did not mention, we are all one blood and one family. Ndem ni nem oraha. Mandem na oraha ha. Ununenebumunem. I thank you very much for listening this very day and as always without hesitation, without any fear nor favor. I studiously maintain unshakably so that Biafra is our religion. Here on Radio Biafra is where we worship because Elohim is our God from me, from here. It is good morning.